in this lesson i'm going to give you an aha moment the biggest aha moment in mp1 and that is uh, average velocity is in instantaneous velocity the last time in the classwork number 23 you saw that average velocity was not equal to instantaneous velocity instantaneous okay but at what condition average velocity uh, what technique math technique you have to use so that average velocity is becoming instantaneous velocity well one math technique you have to use is that this is average velocity uh, you have to carefully use average velocity equations right uh, this is called this is called midpoint equation right so you have to carefully find a midpoint and then it will give you exactly the same information and that is instantaneous velocity let's try okay good so mr body uh, went on to on to uh, a one point half hour long bike trip uh, car trip and his position function is 40 over 3 t square uh, from rest right and uh, at 1.2 hour he saw speed let me sign uh, 30 miles per hour did he break the law okay so first thing first dt vt and at okay so to draw the graph we're gonna have to find both point this is 0 comma 0 well what is the other one 1 1.5 comma what we don't know this one this is 0 comma 0 we don't know the other one 1.5 comma what this is 0 comma 0 oh no 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 this is not 0 comma 0 this is not 0 comma 0 oh yeah 0 comma whatever and then this is uh, 1.5 comma whatever because at 0 the acceleration acceleration is constant okay good so <laughs> that is a made a mistake to the other one okay all right, so how can you find this? P of t is equal to 40 over 3 t square. So P of 1.5 is equal to 40 over 3, 1.5 square. And that makes it P of uh, 1.5 is equal to 30. So this is 30. So that means this is 30. Okay, so it's parabola. Good. So this one is V, uh, um, this, this one is, if this is parabola curve, this one is a diagonal. So AD under the curve has a name and that is displacement. B is, H is, we don't know. This is H, H is the velocity. Uh, how much is this? We're going to find out. D is 30. T is 1.5. So H is 40. This is 40. Okay, good. All right. If this is diagonal, this must be horizontal. This is 1.5. In this time, this is uh, area is bh. It has a name, velocity. Final b has a name, time, time, and acceleration has a name h. Uh, velocity final is 40. T is 3 over 2. H. So h is 80 over 3. So replace is by 80 over 3. So this equation is P of T is equal to 40 over 3 T square. This equation is V of T is equal to uh, 80 over 3 T. This equation is A of, A of T is equal to 80 over 3. Okay, good. Now uh, we're going to do it three different ways. One. Okay, so, so this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so dt, dt, vt. Okay, we know this one. Okay, what is the, but uh, our interest is to find it at 1.2, 1.2.
1.2. Okay, so what is um, the slope? Okay, what is the slope? The slope is this one. So what is the slope? VA is zero plus AD over three, 1.2. So the slope is 32. So the slope is 32. So he was moving more than the speed limit sign. So the cop can give him ticket. Now see average velocity can do the business. Since this is a midpoint formula, all right, so we have to use the midpoint. What is the midpoint? Um, let's say this is 1.1, then this is 1.3, okay? 1.1 plus 1.3 divided by two is 1.2. So yeah, that's good. So we have to find the distance over here, the distance over here. So P of T or P of 1.1 is equal to 40 over three, 1.1 square. And P of 1.3 is equal to 40 over three, 1.3 square. Okay, so now 40 over three, so 1.3 one is square times 40 divided by three and that is 16.13 this is 16.13 16.13 uh, 1.3 square times 40 divided by three is 1.3 square 1.3 square times 40 divided by 3 is 22.53 22.53 so this is 22.53 so now average velocity is equal to df minus di and tf minus ti so what is df 22.53 what is di 16.13 what is tf 1.3 what is ti 1.1 so average velocity is 22.53 minus 16.13 is equal to 6.4 and um 1.3 minus 1.1 is 0.2 so 6.4 divided by 0.2 is 6.4 oh, 6.4 divided by 0.2 is 32 wow so 32 good all right so again this one what is the midpoint of 1.2 you can use one you can use one and you can use 1.4 one plus 1.4 divided by 2 is 1.2 i believe okay so so you have to use um v is equal to ad over 3t right so AD over 3, 1, and AD over, AD over 3, 1.4, 37.33. So this one is 37.33. So I have 26, okay, BI, BF plus BI over 2. So 26.67 plus 30. 7 uh, to 37.33 plus 26.67 divided by 2 uh, plus 26.67 divided by 2 and that is 32 all right so this one give you 32 this one give you 32 this one give you 32 why is that because again you use uh, the you carefully use the midpoint okay so 1.2 is between 1.1 and 1.4 and then 1.2 is between 1 and 1.4 okay so if you know how to use uh, how to find the midpoint if there is a midpoint then you can use the midpoint formula which is uh, this one and of course this one all right hopefully uh, cw24 uh, gave you some aha moment now let's uh, let's do cw24 